In this video, I'll show you how to use layouts, one of the key enabling features in Logos Bible software. Layouts are really helpful when you have arranged a set of Logos resources, tools, and guides in a particular way and want to be able to get back to it later. So, for example, you can have layouts for Bible reading and taking notes, detailed study of a passage, detailed study of a word. Before looking at how to create layouts from scratch, We'll look at using layouts supplied with the Logos software. There are two types of supplied layouts as shown in the layouts menu. Quick start layouts and home page layouts. Quick start layouts accessible from the layouts menu or from a card on the home page are designed to help you get started with a particular type of activity. To study a Greek word use the Greek word study layout. To gain quick access to the Bible word study guide your preferred Bible, and your highest prioritised lexicon. Similarly, to open a Bible with a linked commentary, select the Bible and Commentary layout. To include the text comparison tool in this layout, open it and add it to the link set. Then open the layout menu again, click the arrow to the right of the layout and select Replace with Current Layout. Now, when you use this layout again, it will include the added tool. So these pre-packaged layouts can be used as a starting point for creating your own. Quick start layouts can also be added as a card to the dashboard section of the home page to provide a quick jumping off point for study. Click the plus symbol at the top right of the dashboard, click layout, then choose one of the layouts listed and click add. Now clicking the card on the home page opens that layout. Home page layouts are open from either the home page, the command box or the layouts menu. Like quick start layouts, they're designed to open particular sets of resources or tools, but they typically provide the ability to start from a particular point, such as today's Bible reading or a particular topic. If you have a Bible reading plan defined, click the card on the home page. This will open your specified Bible with associated resources into the layout defined by the Bible Reading Plan layout. Note, this layout is only invoked if the workspace is empty. If not, only the Bible is opened as an additional resource into the workspace. Similarly, if you have a lectionary card on the home page, click it to open the lectionary using the lectionary layout. To explore a topic such as forgiveness, Using the Topic Study layout, enter the command Open Topic Study to Forgiveness into the command box and select the topic you want. These layouts can be customised to meet your exact requirements in exactly the same way as the Quick Start layouts. Having seen how to use and modify pre supplied layouts, we'll look at creating one from scratch. Before creating the actual layout, you need to arrange the components as you want them. Open a Bible to John 1.1. 1, 1. Open a passage guide. Open a commentary and link it to the Bible. Open a Bible word study guide and link that to the Bible. Open the Explorer tool. Arrange all these tiles in the layout of your choice. Now you have these resources and other components arranged as you want, create a layout from the layout's menu. Call this layout Detailed Passage Study. Even if you don't save layouts explicitly, the software takes regular snapshots that you can go back to to recover a particular point in time. It also takes a snapshot when closing the application. Now close all the panels and evoke the layout you've just created to restore everything to how you arrange them. After a time, you might want to add something else to the layout, such as an exegetical guide. To ensure that this gets included, go back to the Layouts menu and update the active layout. Layouts, both ones you create yourself and the ones provided with the software, enable you to set up multiple workspaces exactly as you want them and come back to them whenever you need them. They provide a really powerful way of setting up a familiar study area designed by you to meet your requirements.